let me capture your attention here that by the end of this two video series you will be able to create this new morphic style bank in ui plus you will learn an easy way to add animations and also you will learn how to create a responsive ui that looks same on all devices if that is something that interests you then grab that cup of coffee and enjoy the coding now here we have done some setup so that you guys don't get bored so let's quickly walk through it first we have an asset folder which contains the fonts and icon used in this app then in the lib we have an animation folder which contains some sick animation widget that will make adding animation super easy data contains the data models like bill cars and transaction models with some fake info then the screen folder which contains all of our screen files the widget folder will contain all of our custom widget that we will make throughout this series of videos then this constant.dat file contains some constant variable used throughout this app and lastly in the pubspec.yml file add this package the acid path and the fonts and by the way we are running this on flutter 2.10 and above now in the main.dat file in order to make the app responsive wrap the material lab with screen util in it which is from the flutter screen util package more on that later then add the design size property which is the dimensions of the device on which we have designed the app for this app we will pass this default value then inside the material app add the builder in it add this line or else the app will not work in the release mode with all that setup done let's get on to the designs here as you can see in the home screen designs it is a simple column layout with an app bar cards bill section and a recent transaction components so first let's focus on the app bar as it consists of two ui component separated horizontally with some padding around it now open the home screen dot dot file inside it add a cross axis alignment of start then add a custom app bar widget wrap it with a padding widget and pass a horizontal padding of 16 pixels as it is a custom widget so create a new file inside the widget folder named custom app bar dot dot then in it create a stateless widget then add a row with a main axis alignment of space between add a text widget and then add the new morphic widget which add this new morphic effect to its child so to do it add this style property and pass new morphic style to it which takes four important properties depth intensity surface intensity and shape which define the look and feel of this new morphic design like depth which influence on the shadow color and blur radius to give it a more floating look when the value is positive and embrows when it's negative then intensity which ranges between 0 and 1 and influence the outer shadow color while the surface intensity influence the inner shadow color and lastly shape which are of three types flat convex and concave which basically are different types of shadow depth effect after playing around i find this value to give the most similar result then give it a bg color then add a padding of 8 pixels and a duration of 100 milliseconds in its child give it the svg picture dot asset constructor and pass this path to the user svg and add a width and height and also the placeholder builder so it does not show the junk effect as the asset load and that's it for the app bar now let's go in the home screen and import the custom app bar and run the application now here we can see the app bar but it is hidden behind the notification bar to bring it a bit down add a vertical spacing of 50 using size box and here import the flutter screen util package and now it looks awesome but what is the dot h used for well it is the utility method from the flutter screen util package that is used to calculate the new adaptive height and like dot h we also have dot w for adaptive screen width dot r to adapt according to the size smaller between height or width and dot sp for adaptive fonts now the second ui component is this card ui which is basically a page view with this new morphic style card which is a column layout with two rows containing some text and images so first create a new file card ui dot dart inside it create a stateless widget with a required card property of type bank card which is a data model with all the necessary properties and contains a list of predefined bank cards for us to use then in the card ui add margin to the container then give it a child of new morphic with a style of depth of 6 a background color 
intensity of 12 and a shape of flat. Then give it a child of container with a symmetrical padding of 16 pixel horizontally and 24 pixel vertically. Then add a box decoration with border radius of 8 pixels. Then give it a child of column with cross axis alignment of start and main axis alignment of space between. Then add our first row which will contain the text widget and the images. So first add the text widget with actual text equal to the card name. Then add the svg.asset and give it the path in which the svg name is equal to the bank name. Then give it a width of 80. Now add the second row which contains two text widget in a column and a svg image. So first add a column with cross axis alignment of start. In it add a text widget with a card number. Below it add a vertical spacing of 6 pixels. Then add a text widget with username. And at the end of the column add the svg.acid constructor and give it a path like this and a width of 40 pixels. And in the home screen add the card UI widget and pass the card data at index 0. And as we save the file we see the card layout but it's a bit smaller. To fix it wrap it with the size box and give it a height of 200. And with that it's look good now. Now simply wrap it with a page view builder and add an index argument and pass it to the card data list. Then add a page controller, item count and a scroll direction of horizontal. Then to initialize the page view controller, convert the home screen to a stateful widget then create a late initializable page controller variable. And then inside an init state, initialize the page controller variable with a view fraction of 0.96. Now as we hot restart the application, we can see the horizontal swipe effect. Awesome. Then below it we have the billing section which contains a text widget and two of this custom build list style widget. As always we will create a new file named build section dot. In it create a stateless widget named build section. Then add a padding widget with a horizontal padding of 16 pixels. Then add a column widget with cross axis alignment of start and in it add a text widget for bills and payments. Now in the home screen dot dot file add a vertical spacing of 16 pixels and below it add the billing section widget we just created. Now when we save these files we should see a text widget named bills and payments like this. Now back to our bill section. In order to create this custom list style layout add list view dot separated pass sync wrap to true so we don't get the vertical viewport with an unbounded height exception. Then add padding of 0 and physics of never scrollable scroll physics. This will remove any default scroll physics so that something like this won't happen and the whole home screen widget scrolls smoothly. Then add an item count of build data dot length. Then add a separate builder which will just add a size box of height 24 pixels between alternative list style. And finally add the item builder. In it create a build variable with a build data of current index and return a build list style widget with properties like icon path, title, subtitle, amount and a pay bill callback. Then below create a build list style stateless widget. Then add the icon path, title, subtitle, amount and pay bills properties. Now for the UI which is basically a row which first contain this new morphic style icon then a column with two text widget and then a pay bill custom style button separated by a spacer. Then inside build add a row widget. In it add a new morphic with a padding of 10 pixels and give it a style of depth of 4, intensity of 4, surface intensity of 1 and a color of background color and a shape of concave. Then give it a child of svg picture dot acid and pass the icon path. And on save we can see the new morphic style icons. Then add a size box of width of 16 pixels. Then add a column with a cross axis alignment of start. In it add a text widget for our build title. Then add a vertical spacing of 6 pixels. Now in order to display a text with different stylings add rich text widget. In it pass a text spam with a base text style. Then inside children add a text spam with a text of subtitle and below it add a text spam with the text of the amount and give it a text style with a color of black and a font weight of semi bold and on save we can see the exact same result. Then we will add a spacer 
to spread this column and the pay bill button to their edges. Now to create the pay bill button, add a container with a padding of 4 pixels only at the bottom. Then add a box decoration with a border at bottom of 2 pixels width. And lastly add a child of text widget of pay bill. And yeah, that's all for the bill section. Now the last component is this recent transaction which is simply a column layout which contains a text widget and a list of transactions. So first create a file named recent transactions, in it create a stateless widget then add a padding with a horizontal padding of 16 pixels and give it a child of column with a cross axis alignment of start and inside the children's add a text widget for recent transactions. Then in the home screen add a vertical spacing of 32 pixels and below it add our recent transaction widget and import it here. And now when we save, we should see a recent transaction text on our screen. Then back to our recent transaction. Now in order to create the list of transaction, let's add a list view dot separated. Then similar to our bill section list view, we'll add a shrink wrap of true, padding of zero, physics of never scrollable scroll physics, item count of transaction data dot length, and a separator builder which returns the same size box of height of 24 pixels. Then an item builder with a transaction variable that stores the transaction data of the current index and return a transaction list style widget which takes a title, subtitle, paid with and amount properties. Now let's create the transaction list style which will be a stateless widget with a title, subtitle, amount and paid with properties. And for its UI which is basically a row which first contain a column with two text widget and another text widget separated by a spacer. So to create this add a row widget in its children first we will add a column with cross axis alignment of start and then in it add a text widget for the title. Now here when we save we get an overflow exception. To fix it simply go to the home screen and wrap the column with single child scroll view. And now when we save the file, we can see the overflow exception has been gone. Now back to our business, open the recent transaction file, there add some vertical spacing, then add a rich text like the one we have done in the billing section with a text spam giving it a base text style. And then inside the children, add a text spam for the subtitle and another text spam for the paid with property and give it a text style with a color of black and a font weight of semi bold. Then at the end of the column widget add a spacer and below it add a text widget for the amount property. In the next video of this series we will be covering this animation part with this bottom sheet and then we will create this fingerprint popping out effect and lastly the success payment animation. So stay subscribed and if you are then make sure to ring the bell notification and see you in the next one.